Assalamu alaikum guys. Thank you for coming back to my channel. I hope you enjoy the videos that I have been posting. I know I only have a few so far, but I'll continue to talk about some of the things that I face in my everyday life as a convert or as a Muslim. Last time I talked about some of the things that I face as a convert within the Muslim society and in the United States itself. This time I would just like to talk about something that would relate to all Muslims in the West, in the United States. I know a lot of people who are very ignorant seem to think that all Muslim women are oppressed. I don't live in the Middle East. The only people oppressing me are the people who don't understand me, the people who treat me bad for wearing a scarf, who treat me bad for being Muslim. There's nobody in my religion that forced me to wear a scarf. There is nobody that makes me worry to go outside. The only people that worry me to go outside is racist people and ignorant people and I completely blame Trump's rhetoric. I am an independent. I studied political science in college. I was born and raised a Republican. But I changed. I changed that when I went to college because I learned that, you know, there's problems with both sides of the political party. I understand that now. But in this race, <laughs> it's, I mean, there's no words to put to it. I just can't believe the Republican candidate is who it is. It does not demonstrate the Republican Party. And it's only caused a lot of racism. And that's really sad to know that there's so much racism in this country. I mean, I know a lot of people whose grandparents or parents are immigrants in this country. I know for a fact that when all of the Germans were coming here during World War II or afterwards, they were allowed in. They were not assumed that they were Nazis just because they were German. Just why everyone should not be assumed that they're a terrorist because they're Muslims. Again, I said there is about 1.6 billion Muslims in the world. That's like 20% of the world. That's a lot of people. To think that every single one of us is a terrorist is a really ignorant and not intelligent thing to say. As you know, yesterday... There was a imam and his assistant was killed in Queens, New York City. To me, that is just crazy. Now, I should just assume, I should assume that all Christians and all white people are just out to kill me. Because of what happened. That's how you guys look at it. Because one bad person does something and they say that they're Muslim, even though they do not act like they are Muslim. I'm supposed to represent all of them? So I expect every now American who is not Muslim to say sorry for what they did. Why can't you condemn what happened in New York City? Why do I have to condemn something that like 0.0001% of the world does? Why do I have to condemn it when, when you don't condemn bad things that happen? Obviously I condemn terrorism. Obviously I know that my religion does not follow it. But why do I have to sit and tell you? Why don't you learn about my religion? Why don't you learn about who we are as people? Why do we have to be the only ones like making the extra effort into trying? Just because the media made our religion look so ridiculous and horrible, I have to fix it because the media makes us look bad. Because we are not white, because we're different, we are a target in the media. How is that fair? So a few weeks ago, I wrote a poem, and I would like to share it with you. I do write a lot of poetry, I do a lot of spoken word. So here it goes. My oppression. It is not you. You know, no it is you. It is you who oppresses me. No, it's not my religion. No, it's not my family or my husband. It is you who is the oppressor. It is you who assumes you know me just by looking at me. It is you who is judging me with your stares. It is you who doesn't try to understand me. It is you who does not know I was born in this country. It is you that does not know that the scarf, the scarf that I wear to cover my hair was my choice. Can you believe that? It is you 
who does not even know that I was originally a Christian. It is you that does not know I converted to this religion. It is you who does not ask questions to understand me. It is you who does not want to learn. Yes, it is you that does not know I chose to wear this scarf and I am educated. It is you who is ignorant. It is you who does not know I have the legal right to wear my scarf. I can wear this scarf, not because of my culture. It is you that does not know and seems to forget that it is my First Amendment right to practice my religion. It is you who thinks I am harmful, even though my religion does not want me to kill a fly. It is you who looks at me and thinks I am not equal to you. It is you who is wrong, but it is you who can change. It is you who can look at me as an equal, as a colleague, as an American. It is you who can ask me questions. It is you who can attempt to understand me. It is you who can smile at me and not be scared. It is you who can stop assuming. It is you who can stop believing everything you see in the media. It is you who can stop oppressing me. It is you who can use your privilege to help others learn that I am not a bad person. Until then, it is you. Until then, my oppressor will always be you. I wrote that specifically to the people who really think that my religion oppresses me. The only thing that oppresses me is the people who don't let me be who I want to be. Let me live my life. Let me be who I want to be. I'm not going to change for you. Specifically, in my religion, there is a verse in the Quran that says, My religion is my religion. Your religion is your religion. I will never ask you or practice your religion, nor will you ever practice my religion. See what I'm saying here? You can practice what you want. I'm going to still practice what I want. Please stop telling me to take off my scarf. I'm not wearing it because anybody told me to. I'm wearing it because religiously that is what I want to do. I'm doing it for myself. I know that's super hard for you Americans to believe or anybody in the West and Europe to. I wear it by choice. Can you believe that? I know it's really hard for some of you to understand, but I'm going to say it a billion times. Even if you try to make me hate it so much, the more and more you push me to hate it, the more I'm going to love it. Please understand that. I'm not changing. I'm not going to accept your religion. Nor do I expect you to accept mine. I was already Christian. I left the faith to be Muslim for a reason. Anyways, thank you so much for watching my video today. I hope you appreciated it and what I had to say. For all my Muslim viewers, I just want to tell you, Please stay strong, stay confident, don't let anybody affect you, and don't let anybody affect you and stop you from living your life. We have the organizations like CARE, we have people on our side. Be confident in your own skin. Don't worry about other people and what they say, because we're in a really bad time right now in the United States. The racism is horrible. And the sad thing is, I don't understand how somebody could be proud to be racist, but I mean, I'm starting to learn that people are actually proud of that, which I don't know how someone seriously could be proud of being a racist. So thank you for watching my video. Any other questions you may have or comments about what you would like me to talk about in another video, please comment below and I would love to talk about anything that you would like. Assalamu alaikum.